Okay, YouTube, here's the part two of the build on the 355 small block for the Le Mans. Um, we finally got the crankshaft polished and it's dropped in, it's cleaned, dropped into the block. Um, bearings are brand new, we dropped those in. This thing just came out super, super nice. Um, you can see here, let me take this cap off. You can see all the bearings. It's kind of hard to mess up because you got these little notches right there. Okay, I'll show you right there. So they only go in one way. Um, so we put all brand new bearings in, one by one. And um, like I said, we got this thing polished up. It came out awesome. Machine shop, local machine shop wanted $68. 70 bucks to polish this thing out. So get, come and get it in a couple hours. Nah, dude. I'll do it myself. I'll take the $68, put it towards some ARP bolts or something. You know, it's a budget build. You got to have fun, but you got to be smart doing it because this shit adds up. It's crazy. Anybody that's building your own motor or have built your own motor, this shit adds up quick. So do it yourself. Do your research. Um, speaking of research, get yourself one of these books here. A buddy of mine from up north told me one day about five years ago, buy this book, eBay, $9.99. This is the Bible. Honest to God, you could build anything from a 283 to a 400 on here. Um, you got that ugly motherfucker right there, but I'll tell you what, he can build a motor. But anyway, you go in this book, it shows you everything, every spec, every torque spec. It teaches you how to rebuild your, uh, your distributor. I mean, it's everything, it's crazy. But again, you gotta have this. If you're second guessing yourself, there's so many videos on YouTube, everybody gives you this information, that information, be smart open up the Bible, do your research, and do it the right way. Um, the bolts. I gotta give a special shout out to my buddy Barry up in Chicago, one of the best mechanics I know, to be honest with you. And what he told me about those bolts, okay? He told me once you tighten those bolts down and you torque them, they're TTY bolts, they're torque to yield. So once they torque and they come off, I'm not putting them back in my motor, okay? So that $68 that they Machine shop wanted. I'm gonna take that $68 and put it toward a nice set of uh, nice set of ARP bolts for the main caps, you know. And like I said, this is good right now just to torque them down. When we're checking the bearing clearances, which we're not gonna do this evening, that's gonna be on part three of the video. Um, but all the journals are nice and clean, so it's ready for the plastic gauge. Um, we're gonna put it on all the journal, uh, all the uh, main cap journals. And we're gonna check it out and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, this thing specs out and we're good to go. So one one step at a time, we're not we're not really rushing. You know, it's been a couple years since we've had the car. So, I mean, another month or two, I'll tell you what, when we turn the key, two things are gonna happen. This bitch is gonna be rough as hell and it's gonna sound killer or it's gonna blow the fuck up. So we're gonna see what happens. But I got a lot of faith in myself. Again, do your research. I talked to some to some smart dudes, and they're, they're, they just they give me the information that I need. They're guiding me the way, and um, yo, it is what it is. So, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Do the work yourself. Save some money. Learn. Have a good time. Have fun in the garage, drinking beers. You know, it's that kind of party. So, keep your shit organized. That's all the main caps. You can see I got them all organized and in order. You know, I don't do this shit every day, guys. I paint cars, so again, that camshaft, that's junk. That's garbage. I got a real nice hairy comp cam going in here. And um, those are my rods, all brand new bearings, brand new pistons. Those rings right there, those are junk. Those are going away. Um, but again, this is where we're at with it. So I'll keep you guys posted. Part three of the video will be coming up on the plastic gauge, bearing clearance video. And uh, we're going to go from there, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. If you please like and subscribe to the videos, share the videos. Uh, man, I've got I to gotta be honest. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, which to me, it's unbelievable. When I moved out to Florida, right before I left Chicago a couple years ago in July, I just hit 1,000 subscribers. We're already knocking on the door to 3,000. It's unbelievable, guys. I just want to thank everybody. Share and like these videos. Subscribe to the channel. And I got to tell you, man, it's much appreciated. So thank you so much, guys. Part three coming up.
See ya.